Welcome, my name is Jay Yoakum, Field Service Engineer. Today we're gonna to talk about the GCP 4000, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull files out of the GCP 4000 using a flash drive. What you're gonna to need today is the quick reference guide and a flash drive. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your flash drive and insert it into the USB slot, and it populates a menu. So now we'll want to hit Save Configuration, which will save the pack file or the configuration file, and then click Next. <clears throat> it automatically names the file, config, DOT number, and the date. If you want to change that name, you can using the keypad, and then just click Save. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to pull a maintenance log. You'll notice the train log, maintenance log, and diagnostic log have a different icon beside them. Those three logs need to be pulled with the flash drive. So at this time, let's pull the maintenance log. Hit next. Okay. Again, with the maintenance log, it's gonna name it main log. Uh, DOT number and the date. If you're okay with that name, just click on save. And the report is saved. Now we're going to pull a status log. So again, just click on it and hit next. And we're going to download by date. Okay, I'm going to scroll over here so we're not pulling so much. Okay, so we're going to pull from today at 11 a.m. until 13.36. Click OK. Again, it's going to name it status log slot 1 CP DOT number and the date. Click Save. The report is now saved. Okay. Now we're going to go back and we're going to pull a standard SEER log. So you will click on the SEER icon, click Next. Which type of report do you want to pull out of the SEER? We're going to pull a standard report. Hit Next. Again, by date. And this resorts to the last 24 hours. If you want more than that, you can go in and change your date and time but I am comfortable with that. And also there's a feature on here to download all events. If you wanna pull every log that was on there, you would just click on that. Click OK. Again, it'll name it uh, event DOT number and the date from and to that we're pulling this log. If you're okay with that name, just click Save. Okay, success. Now we'll go into the laptop and we'll verify what we have pulled. Now that you have your flash drive installed, we'll want to open that up. Mine is on drive H. Uh, you'll notice it uh, categorizes these in a safe tram folder. Just click on that. There's the name of it. GCP 4000. Now there's configurations and reports. The configuration will be the actual pack file that you would upload back into the system to recover it. But you cannot open this. The only way you can open this is through DT. Okay, so let's go back to reports. Open the reports, the date, and the configuration reports, your SEER event report, your maintenance log, and your status log. Um, in your configuration reports, your hardware report, this is where you would get part numbers, serial numbers, warranty dates, uh, that kind of detailed information. Your minimum program steps report is what it takes to get the system up and running. Changes from default values, and also this is great for your check numbers, your office check number, which validates your prints, and your configuration check number, which is the hierarchy check number that covers everything, including calibration. Okay. 
Next would be the program report. This is a more in-depth of all the programming parameters in the system. Next would be the software report, which covers each of the modules and what software was loaded on the modules. So if you're going to a uh, software tracking, asset tracking program on your railroad, this is where a lot of the information out of that comes from. Okay. Uh, next, you would have a system configuration report, which is all your programming parameters plus uh, your calibration settings. Next would be a template report, a more in-depth program report. Now we'll get to the event log, the SEER event log. Okay, the last 24 hours we pulled here. This is uh, external and internal events. This is a log we would definitely have you pull if there was an incident. Maintenance log. Maintenance log is fantastic if you're looking for OCCN or office configuration check number deviations. It's not matching the prints because the maintenance log is basically a rolling log of all parameter changes in the system, including calibration changes. So you can see here all the changes uh, that were done. And next is the status log, which is an internal log of the internal decision making of the unit. And that is how you verify the logs that you pulled. If you have any questions about what we've covered today, please give us a call 1-800-793-7233 and push 1 for technical support. Thank you very much.